Why do clothes never look good on me? That's probably what you're thinking right now. And you're right to think that. Now, how do we fix that? Or more importantly, why do we feel like that? Yes, we. Because as much as it pains me to say, but I also used to have a horrible fashion sense, just like you. But I changed and improved. And so can you, if you follow what I'm about to say. The first thing we must figure out is why do I look bad? Are the clothes too tight and you can see the six pack of beer you had last night? Do the colors on my outfit make me look like a walking traffic sign? Or am I not showcasing the best parts of myself? The second thing is to identify what parts you want to highlight and make stand out. It could be your long legs, your broad shoulder, your big arms, or maybe you just want to create the illusion of looking taller than you are. That last one is for all the short kings out there, including myself. Although I don't really know if I can call myself due to me being like six, not a six foot, <laughs> I wish, but five nine. Moving on. Now that we have figured out based for our personal style, let's talk about the things that you'll be wearing. The clothes. For simplicity sakes, I'm just gonna take myself as an example. And if you happen to have the same build and proportions as me, then congratulations. You can basically just copy what I'm gonna show you and then apply the rules to any other outfits you want to wear in the future. I'm gonna stop talking soon, but if you don't look like a slim Asian guy with a slightly athletic build, then don't worry. There's something for you as well later in the video. First one is a monochrome fit that consists of an oversized black t-shirt, black dress like pants, and then some dark colored sneakers. Everyone probably has these items in their wardrobe. And if you don't, then you can probably buy them for cheap at like a store like Uniqlo. If we tuck in the shirt, then it creates this nice boxy shape at the top and makes my shoulders look pretty nice. It also makes my legs look pretty long, which then gives off the illusion of me looking taller than I actually am. Now, if we untuck the shirt, then we get a different vibe. An outfit that looks a lot more relaxed and has a more flowy shape. Can you tell English is my second language? You can do this using different color combinations and clothing items, such as hoodies, sweaters, jackets, overshirts, etc. Just make sure that the colors you are using work together. Together, and don't use too many different colors at once because it could end up looking a bit messy I don't really know how to explain this otherwise try sticking with one to two main color like beige top black bottoms and then dark or white shoes if you have black bottoms you can pretty much wear any color of shoes and it will still look good and that's why this concept still works you can go for more colors when layering but for simplicity sakes even when layering unless you're more experienced I suggest you don't go above three different colors if there's only one thing that you can take away from this video then it will be do not go over bottom and brands like for a love of God, I don't want any of you guys going to one of your classes at uni wearing a Balenciaga hoodie, Adidas three stripe pants, Travis Scott's Jordan 1 and a bombing hat. Like I'm specifically looking at all the rich international students. We don't live in the mid to late 2010. Like just stop. If you made it all the way here then thank you. And I suggest that you like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If everything fails and you somehow still don't know how to put together at least a decent outfit after all of this then I suggest you just find someone online. Straight up just steal. Because there's a high chance that it will probably look alright on you as well. There's no shame in it, I've done it a couple of times, in fact I still do it because it's easy and low effort and sometimes that's the best option. The reason why I didn't talk about different brands, cuts, fit sizes and color theory is because I wanted to keep it as basic as possible, almost like a dummy's guide to fashion. Does anyone still remember those books? Now that you know how to create a drippy outfit, it's time for you to learn where you can acquire such drip and you can find it out for watching this next video, whenever it gets uploaded of course. See you next week.